You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next installment in our SpongeBob SquarePants Underwater Electronic Fish Tank. And today I get to add a little fishies shark, and then an Aquabot remote control angelfish. So let me, uh, well, what do I want to do? Well, there's a lot actually going on with the tank. I made some changes. The first thing I did was I decided to redo the background. So let me just show you a little video clip of what I did to change the background. Okay, so I did want to show you what you're seeing now on the new background. I reprinted it, and then I took these UV paints. This one is yellow, and then I had green, blue, red, and orange, and mixed them and matched them to try to match the background that was there, and then I just took brushes and painted. Yes, that's my freehand painting of all the different shapes. So that is the new background you see on the tank, and that's how I did it. All right, so that change uh, made a major improvement to the back of the tank, which I'll show you in a little bit. And then the other change I made was I decided to create Patrick's house and uh, well let me show you that little video how I did that and you can check it out well here's how I made Patrick's house I know it kind of looks like a candle now but uh, that's for that little top piece on his house I took a ball I filled it when it dried I took off the outside and now I'm just kind of retexturing it because I wanted it to have he's got a kind of like a an unnatural stone look to it so I thought hmm, let me do that and then what I'm gonna do after this is paint it and then seal it really good. Since this fish tank is not for real fish, it's really just for my electronic fish, it should be okay for me to do something like this. And I think uh, I like that look. I want to kind of un... His rock, the outside of his house, his rock or whatever you want to call it, has this kind of weird bumpy feel to it, which is hard to achieve, but I think this is kind of what I want. There, so that is going to be Patrick's house. Now I figure I made it a little bit bigger because the sand's probably going to come up to here. You're only going to see the top half. So next is just to let it dry and then paint it. All right, so I'm painting Patrick's house, and I ha actually had brown paint, yes, believe it or not. This is concrete floor paint. I figured that would be the best for water resistance. I'm going to seal it, too. I've got some sealer that I'm going to use. This is the process I went through to show you what my Patrick house looks like in the tank. So I thought I would add some color to it. I do want to do underside real good too. So I'm going to let this dry, come back, and then I am almost ready to put this in the fish tank. So when you are watching this video, I already have it in the fish tank. I didn't want to have to go in the fish tank again. I just want to, you know, play with the fish and show you that kind of stuff. All right. I thought maybe I would add a little neon color to this because his, um, his building, his house, whatever you want to call it, is a striation of colors. There's other colors in there. So I thought I just kind of add it in to see if the light picks it up, the neon. Ooh, there we go. And I think a little green. So once this dries, I'll paint the bottom and then I'll put a sealer on it. Alright, I wanted it nice and thick. All right, there we go. You know, let me get, let me drip some paint in there because I want this to be sealed. Also, I just need enough to stick the little thing I'm going to make for the top. Okay, here we go. All right, so all those changes are actually done to the fish tank. This way, I don't have to unsettle the sand and it gets all 
kind of fuzzy. Now it's crystal clear. You can see the background. Patrick house, Patrick's house looks great. So let's check out the little fishies and learn more about that one. And then we'll check out the Aquabot. All right, so let's check out Lil Fishy, ages four plus. Motorized water pets, lifelike movement, swims, dives, and dips. His name is Hammy. And let's turn it around here. So there's Hammy, Jawbones, Lucky, Dipper, Chomps, and Sunny. Adjust my tail to change the swimming action. Hmm, sounds exciting there. We're going to get some good swimming out of our little hammerhead hammy shark. Now, I have the package ready to go, so I didn't have to spend too much time trying to open it. And, oh, it's got taped down. There we go. So there is hammy. I will zoom in so that I can get to the instructions, which I'm assuming are on the inside here. And yes, they are. Okay, so you don't get to see hammy yet. How to change the swimming action. Figure one. Shows the recommended position of the tail if you're playing in a swimming pool, which is almost horizontal. The little fishy will swim and dive in large arcs. Figure 2 shows the recommended position of the tail if you're playing in the bathtub or a shallow paddling pool, which is around 15 degrees above horizontal. The little fishy will then jump and dive. Figure 3 shows the recommended position of your tail for the tail if your little fishy is swimming in a small aquarium, which is around 45 degrees above horizontal. The little fishy will then jump and dive, okay? Step two, batteries, okay? And then step three, switching on your little fishy. Well, let's get those batteries in here. So as shown in figure four, first turn the head of the toy counterclockwise to the off position, okay? Okay, see there's an on-off, and then here's his tail, and there's a little, like, uh, propeller in there. So he's got to be in that position, all right? Then gently pull the OK. After that, loosen the two screws on the battery case. All right. Nothing like a good little project in a project. And by the way, I did some other changes to the tank. I removed my jellyfish that were floating, only because I think with all these fish, they're going to get caught on them. It was one of those, you know, good ideas, and then I decided to change that idea. So it looks like we got this one goes this way. And this one goes this way. That's simple enough. Okay. So I'm curious as to what triggers that on off. My little fishy. Something in here. Hmm. Put that correctly on first. Ooh. Okay, so he's set, so we'll move him back to off, and then there, so once he goes in the water, you will not see him again. He's got an eye, and he's looking at you, and he's ready for, almost looks like he has lipstick on, doesn't it? My little sharky has lipstick, but he still looks pretty cool. So let me just see if I can turn it just a little so it stays on, and in the end, here's what the tail looks like, and it... It's adjustable, so if you're going in a bigger pool, medium-sized pool, medium-sized pool, and then an aquarium. All right, so he's set. But let me get my Aquabot remote control angelfish ready so I can put them both in at the same time. So I'll be back with that fish. All right, so this one here is the remote control angelfish with a little remote control in there. Water brings it to life, so as soon as we put it in the water... It's going to start going. Let's see. Tap on tank to wake me up. It lights up. Ooh, that'll be cool. And it's neat how he's in this little plastic little home here. And I noticed on the jellyfish from Hexbug had those blue pieces, which I thought were really cool. That would make a nice addition to any tank. See in there? Those pieces come out and be a nice little rocky outcropping if I really wanted to do that. And I don't think this remote control doesn't look like it's bolted in, but no, I'm getting it out there. Hold on. It is in pretty good, I'll tell you that. Okay, that's out. Let's see what that looks like. Now, these usually come with batteries installed, so I should be good to go with this little guy. 
Ooh, he's moving. I touched his sensors. I noticed that if you touch the sensors on the side, they will occasionally set your little fishy, your fishy. Not your little fishy. It's a little fishy. We have a little fishy today, and this is a little fishy, but not the product little fishy. All right. So if I touch these sensors, that's what sometimes triggers them. There's a sensor there and a sensor there, and that usually sets them off. Look at him go. When this is like a little, it's like rubbery material. Okay, and then looks like you have right, left, up and down, hex bug, channel one. It looks like he's pretty cool and ready to swim, which I like. There you go, buddy. I can't wait to make him go up and down and swim around. Get a good look at him. He's all set. We're ready to go over to the tank. I hope you're excited to see all the changes. Patrick's house. I also adjusted the lighting a little bit. Took out the three jellyfish. Oh, and I moved the blue light into Squidward's house. You're going to like how the bubbles come out of the eyes and you see the blue in there. So let's go over to the fish tank and put our new fish in. All right, here we are. As you see, my original fish is doing great, swimming around there. Sometimes he gets caught in the cable back there. My jellyfish are doing pretty good. I like them. They go up and down. I adjust a little weight on them. So how do you think it looks now with the uh, addition of Patrick's correct house? And look at Squidward's house. I put the lighting in there so that the bubbles come out of the eyes of his house. And you can see the blue light in there. And then... Uh, I had to add some extra weight to him because the bubbles made it move around. So let me put in my electronic fish first with the remote control. He looks like he's ready to go. That's why I can drive around a little. Oh, okay, turning right. See down. Oh, he got hit. There, it looks like he's picking up speed. Okay, he's stuck in the corner. Let me see if I have a reverse on him. Oh, that's left. Ooh. Don't get stuck back there, little friend. Okay, I have him going up. Okay, now he needs to go left. Is he going left? Well, let's get, let's get you in the correct direction here. Here we go. I don't know how close the controller needs to be. I almost want him to swim faster so I can control him. But okay, I'm turning him right. Ooh, get over here. Ooh, okay, you're doing circles. Good job. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm feeling I have some control. I think I need to get a little practice here. I'm just going to let him kind of move around now on his own. Okay, now the little, now my shark. Let me get him started. You hear him? Make sure the angle is right. Boy, it looks like he's really kicking up some power here. Look at him go. All right, yeah. He's got a lot of power behind him. I wonder if he's too big for this little tank. Let's see. I'm just going to let him go, and we'll see what happens. Whoa. Okay. He's swimming pretty crazy-like. Oh, no. Don't hit anybody. That's wild. He's stirring up my... Oh, no. Sandy. He's stirring up debris. He's hitting. Okay, let's see. Let's grab him. He's a little wild. You almost want to just tame him a little bit. Let me change, see if I can change the angle just one notch and see if that makes it worse or better. I almost just want to hold him here. Okay, here, now it's straight on. Oh, cool. Now, if he stayed up there, I'd be fine with that. Let's just let him do his thing. All right, I'm going to let this go for a few minutes, and we'll just see what happens, and then I'll see what happens from here. Hold on a second. I'm just going to see if I can drive my little guy out of here. Sharky's stuck. I'm almost happy because I don't want him destroying everything in there. 
There he goes. Okay. Uh, here we go. Let me see. If I, oh, there he's picking up pretty good. Look at him go. Ooh. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can get him to go up. Not down. Oh, he's stuck in there. That's not a good spot to get stuck. So that's why I took those other jellyfish out. Because I was uh, expecting things to get stuck. I might have to make some room behind plants. And look at my shark. Alright, so what I'm going to do is make a few little changes here. Come back and we'll uh, watch him again. Okay, so shark, he's out of the tank. I think he's just a little too powerful. Plus his propeller on the back got stuck on my jellyfish. I'm sure you saw that. I'm going to leave him out for now as a fish that will probably be better in a pool or a larger area than this little tank. But my other fish are doing great, so I think I'll just let this play. And I'll see if I can do better at controlling my new fish. Hope you enjoy the changes, and you know, leave some comments if you like the new background, like Patrick's place. I don't know if I'm going to go inside the tank today, probably next time. So for now, I'm just going to give you three minutes, maybe four minutes of my fish swimming, my jellyfish going up and down. Put some music on, and if you don't like the music, it's your option. You can just turn off the volume and put something on that you enjoy. And thanks for watching.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.